With this video, we will be doing Nicki Minaj ends Cardi B career. And if you want to help this channel and the content that we're making, please help support our merchandise. The link is in the description. If you didn't hit the like button, make sure you hit the like button. Try and get the channel to grow. And the only way we're going to do this is if you like, share, and comment on the content. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's go. Chi Chi, get the yayo. Get the yayo. This is Ashley back with another video. What Before up, we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on post notifications. All that. Nicki Minaj um, performed at Rolling Loud. Um, you know, I think her performance, well, I saw some of her performance being live streamed, and mm. she looked amazing. Okay? Okay, okay. It did sound like she was losing her voice. Okay, in my opinion. But she did say she felt like she was getting sick. And to pray for her. But her mic was still on, based on what I saw um, online. Now, okay. Nicki Minaj has officially ended Criminal B's career mm. by paying her dust. By paying her dust. Dr. Miami record by Botch and Bitter um, has debut at number 40 wow. on the U.S. Paola Fi charts <laughs> with 653 <laughs> streams. Goodness gracious. And Section 8 Gang was trying to tell me it was a hit. Section Bigfoot <laughs> and Red Rubler Sleeves did more than this. She said, yo, she called Cardi B fans the Section 8 Gang. <laughs> you feel me? She's going for everybody right now. Yo, this is crazy. Trying to tell me it was a hit. Bigfoot mm. and Red Rubler Sleeves did more than this. Mm. But this is what happens when you pay the girls dust. Mm. Because she's not giving, botch and bitter, and Meg the pass around. Any attention, now they flop it. Not only that, the Never Lose Me remix. Somebody said in the comment section, too. Them exact words. It was like, uh, Nicki leaving them in 2023. Um, the only reason it was important because they were attaching themselves to Nicki Minaj and it made them more relevant. Um, but they said she leaving that in the past and just oh, letting God. them be their own entities without her name. Um, to see if they could survive on that. And that alone. <laughs> By Flo Millie, SZA, and Criminal B debuts at number 77 on the U.S. Pale of Five charts with 500,000 streams. Oh my goodness, with a SZA collaboration? How does the SZA collaboration and your main single flop? Oh my goodness, it's over for Criminal B. Go back to the strip. She says over, go back to the strip club. But I mean, I have been noticing that when something's, when something's what we call yakking out here, getting mm -hmm. a lot of views. You'll see it on a lot of reactors channels. Like you just yeah, see it, see it in the algorithm. But I haven't. I've probably seen it like once, somebody twice, maybe somebody yeah, that something like that. It's crazy. So we gonna react to it today though. I'm still gonna check gonna, it out. I'm still gonna check it out. Club is over. We discovered you over. were with more than just she and I. Give Yo. Me for a new era. I'm gonna freeze my eggs. <laughs> Yo, she's banging Oh my goodness, this is embarrassing. It's now, Nicki still holds the <laughs> record for the biggest debut for a solo female rap song in 2024 on Paolify with mm. Bigfoot, mm. despite not having a music video. So congratulations mm. to the queen. Not only that, Nicki Minaj's Pink Friday 2 World Tour is expected to earn $34 million with 29 shows from the North American leg. Mm. Nicki's tour is officially the most profitable tour by a female rapper in history. And after... Let's get a hand clap on that. Yeah. It's definitely a nice uh, record to break. Shouts out to her. Yeah, you can't be mad at that. No, no, she's out all. here doing it for real. Facts. She's done with all her shows. Um, it looks like she can make at least 50 to $60 million. Okay? Which um, would be the most any female rapper would make mm. from a world tour. Mm. Okay? Let me know how y'all feel about that. I don't know how Botch and Bitter and Meg the Passer are going to go on tour with these uh -huh. type of sales. <laughs> it's going to be very interesting. Yeah. But this is what happens when Nikki pays them dust. 
Mm. They don't have a career anymore. Mm. Now, with that being said, you a lot of fans are calling out Botch and Bitter for copying um, Nicki Minaj's look um, in her Dr. Miami music video. No Dr. pun intended. Miami Some music. people were saying that she yeah. was paying homage actually to Little Kim which I think I talked about yesterday. Yeah. And there's some similarities, yeah. you know, to, you know, Nicki Minaj's Blake Blake look for what Botch and Bitter looks like in her Dr. Miami music video. Dr. Miami. But um, Nicki Minaj's face card is clearly valid, okay? I don't know what um, Botch and Bitter got going on over there, but she looked a mess. You know, people keep praising her fashion sense, and I'm like, how? She barely wears any clothes. How can you praise somebody's fashion sense for drawing on their eyebrows and wearing <laughs> tacky thongs in a music video? Her outfits are tacky, gaudy, ugly, no shade. She looks a mess. And then her body looks insanely botched. I think she looks better cover up. Okay? No shade. She looks worse and worse the more work she gets done. Okay? I don't think that they really look alike, in my opinion. Moving on to Botch and Bitter. Botch and Bitter has sent out a warning to Nicki Minaj. Um, and she also talks about the meaning behind um, Miami, the record that she just put out, um, saying that certain female rappers were ganging up on her. Let's take a listen. And the reason why I called this song Cardi K is because I did the song. I did the song. I said in an inter, in an interview. Um, I was really I was really angry. <laughs> I felt like I felt like I felt like 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 bitches was ganging up on me. Hold on, cause you know don't think. But I felt like bitches was ganging up on me, and I feel like I was very like underestimated. So like Cardi K, I don't know if you know how people be like EBK, like everybody killer. So I just felt like everybody was on some Cardi K shit. Like, oh, y'all some Cardi killer shit? <laughs> then fuck you, ho. Now. She took it right back to the Bronx. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all some killer ish. Uh, bump y'all. Uh, oh, that's crazy. Now, it'd be all this stuff going on. I'll be like, having a clue. That's why I'll be. Yeah, like, that's I said like, I got to tap in a little bit more. It's a lot going on that I don't be knowing that's going on. This is not real, real quick. Cardi K. Is Criminal B delusional or is she on that stuff again? Okay, because at the end of the day, how can you talk about you felt like people were ganging up on you when you are the biggest D writer and click up person in the industry? You clicked up with Megan Thee Stallion and Scratch Off when they were no longer cool with Nicki Minaj. So I don't understand how you can say half the stuff you're saying. You're delusional at this point. Um, and then she also says this in a complex interview that she recently did. Why doesn't Cardi lean into the fact that she's one of the best selling recording artists in the history of music? I mean, because it's like, do I really gotta, like, do I really gotta say it? You just sure, know. Y'all really yeah, know. Okay, so that's what she said in her complex interview, um, basically saying that, you know, B-Words know that she is the best-selling artist of all time. She don't got to say it mm. all the time, and she don't got to um, talk about it in her raps, okay? Not only that, Botch and Bitter also gets a shout-out from Star Criminal. What I can say about uh, Cardi and the X Factor card, Cardi does have is that um the puerto ricans are going to support her and we know that they support support you feel what i'm saying if they rocking with you they're gonna rock with you and they're gonna yeah. put a lot of support i'm behind you so the fact that she got that x factor card she's always gonna be able to play that card and know that they're gonna show up and support if no one else does yeah when they with you they with you yeah facts they support support facts for paying for her lawyers okay um, Star Criminal is going to jail for one year for um, several RICO charges um, in being a blood gang member. And she also snitched. And so with Dang. that being said, Cardi B helped her get one of the best lawyers in the game. I want me to go to jail so bad. And the thing is, I feel like it's because y'all never had nothing to say about me. Y'all can't call me broke. You can't call me ugly. You can't call me a bum. So the one thing that y'all hate us has old clout chasers, has something to sit, sit there and run with, y'all taking the shit and y'all try to run with it. You feel me? Y'all try to run with it. There's, like I said, there's, there's, no, there's, no, there's no coming back. 
And shout out to my lawyer. But also shout out to my friend mm. that paid three hundred and fifty thousand mm. dollars for that lawyer. Mm. You feel me? While all y'all was having regular, you know, regular Douglas legal aids. Yeah, I had a paid lawyer. Mm. Thank you to my friend. Thank you, Cardi. Shout so it has been revealed. That's real nigga ish. <laughs> you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? You're in position for that reason, and that reason is an important reason. If someone needs help, uh, you can help them out. If someone has been riding with you down from day one. Um, you had a situation with the girls. Uh, she got it handled for you. <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm saying? She's taking care of you. So, you know, I mean, you got to take in care of the sense, people. Um, they take care of you. And Real talk, man. You feel what I'm saying? A lot of people ain't going to put up 350 for They're nobody. Not. They won't They're put it not. up. They're not putting up for their mom. At all. <laughs> she be, the she, house? <laughs> The house? Nah. That's crazy. Shouts out there. I think that's... Let alone the bread. That's real. Um, that's real, nigga. It's because we know what... Uh, we know what... Uh, when Chief Keyswood had his height, um, he had one of his Chicago guys locked up, and they asked him for $10,000 to bail him out, and he didn't give up the 10000 yeah. She gave up 350000 Yeah, like, I'm getting you up out of there. Yeah, facts. Especially for the ten. It's crazy. That Cardi B took some money out of her surgery... Savings account mm, allegedly and pay for a star criminals lawyers three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Damn, that's a lot of money. But three hundred fifty thousand, she better be coming home. Yeah, they better be guilty. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> you know what what are you talking about? I'm paying three fifty, so she be home <laughs> so, next so she summer. Come home. Yeah. yeah, facts. Yeah, you couldn't pay your rent a few months ago. Interesting. You know, you couldn't pay your rent that you owed. But you can pay for somebody's lawyers. Ain't nobody worried about paying no money. They get it when they get it. <laughs> they get it. They get it when they get it. Facts. Interesting. Now, Big Bia claps back at Botched and Delusional. Mm. She tweeted after the Miami record came out. And, you know, obviously we know that she was talking junk about Bia in the record. Bia has clapped back on Twitter and she said it's getting weird asking Twitter you shall receive like, and a bunch of laughing emojis a lot of fans are saying that she is throwing receive. shade at Criminal B mm. for allegedly copying her music video look that's what they're saying in the streets Cardi yeah that's what they were saying to me too I'm definitely to check it out um, cause I wanna compare it cause you know we yeah. If it's a copycat, we gonna know. No, no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I definitely wanna uh, see um, what it is. Can y'all leave in the comment section one more time what's the name of the song? Because we definitely, song. matter of fact, we're gonna react to it. We're just gonna give our honest opinion. Like, yeah. if she bit it or didn't bite it, we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. <laughs> B also responded in a post and delete saying that it would be a sad day if she posts receipts. But right now, she's all tunnel vision. Mm. Okay? So that was her reply to Bia. Let me know how y'all feel about it. You know, it's about to get real messy if Criminal B got receipts. Now, moving on to Doja Cat, it has been revealed that Doja becomes the first female rapper with the most solo songs over 1 billion streams on Payola 5. Damn. Four songs. Woman, Needs to Know, Say So Streets. I think she probably got more than those four that have gone to a billion, though. Okay? As much Payola Doja Cat gets... She got to have more than that. And then also, allegedly, um, Flo Millie had asked Doja to be on the Never Lose Me remix, mm. okay, with SZA, but Doja allegedly declined, okay? So before Botch and Bitter hopped on the song, allegedly Doja was asked, and Flo Millie and Doja and SZA are all on the same label. Mm. They're all under... RCA to colorists. Mm. Okay. SZA said yes. Because you know SZA's a nice person. But Doja. She bougie. She, you know. She like to only work with certain people in the industry. And I really don't think she messed with a lot of these female rappers. Because I mm. heard she turned down Lizzo. Megan. And as we know. She turned down Nicki Minaj to be on Cowgirl. Remember. Nicki spoke on that when Pink Friday 2 dropped. So you know. Doja is very choosy. But I think she should have went. And did the Never Lose Me remix. That would have been fire. Mm. And also, Botch and Bitter teased a collaboration with Doja that she got coming. A mm. lot of people are speculating that it's Doja. Take a listen. Ah. That's saying a lot. If she got Doja, she just went through a list of people that couldn't get Doja. Right. So if Cardi got Doja, I'm saying something. Because it seems like nobody else could get her right now. Yeah, she's got the job done. Yeah. 
You know what? It's not even about competitive. I actually, you know what? A lot of people actually tell me that I'm very humble. I actually had a conversation with another artist and they're a Libra too. And it's like we were talking about like, it's like, yo, we be humble, but it's like we could really pop it. And it's like, I could really fucking pop it on you bitches. Mm. That hey, Google, what is Doja Cat Zodiac sign? Libra. Might be. <laughs> Might be. Head ass. I could, and y'all know I could pop it on you hoes. So because, why don't you? Huh? So why don't you? And that's be. what I'm doing right now. I'm going to pop it on you hoes right now. Right mm. now. And uh, what was this conversation like? Who who were you talking to? Oh, uh, just an artist. It, I don't want to say it. It's going to seem like if Doja's on this song with Cardi B, it's going to seem like Doja picked a side in the situation. It's almost like whoever you're doing a song with right now in this, you're almost picking a side. Because if you do a song... With her, I can't see Nikki ever wanting to do a song with you again um, because of that, from my perspective. Yeah, a lot of times it work out like that. But then because you know people's beefing right now. You know yeah, why you do a song like, with You chose that side. It's you know not like saying? you was just absent-minded to the whole thing. Yeah, you, you pretty yeah. much chose the side. Because like we, we're going to have like a clap. Oh. It's like Dirk and NBA Youngboy. Whatever artist you work with, if you work with either one of them right now in the industry, you chose a side, you whether you want to do or not. Okay, okay. Yeah. But something coming with the Libra artist, people yeah. are going to take that and start to try to guess who it was. <laughs> so Doja Cat is a Libra, Facts. and Doja Cat don't really talk about her stats like that. A lot of people feel like Doja Cat is humble. So, you know, that's who people are speculating. Let me know who you guys think it could be. Now, moving on from that, Queen Bee's Cowboy Carter has the second best odds to win Album of the Year mm. at the 2025 Scammies before Scammies. its release, according to mm. Gold Derby. Okay. Um, you know, I think Ariana Grande and probably the Chart of Sus Races are challenging for the number one um, spot for Album of the Year. Okay. Um, to me, I don't know. Ariana's. It's time to double up and save. Earn double alley points on Juvederm Filler when you get treated with Juvederm Filler and Botox. Album with, to me was a little bit lackluster, but it was really short. So that could be what it is. Um, you know, I gave it a 7 out of 10. It's not a bad album, but I did give it a 7. I don't know if it really deserves album of the year now. Okay. Um, but it's probably going to sound better than Queen Bee's Country Bumpkin album. That's for sure. <laughs> no shade. <laughs> Um, no because I wasn't really here for Texas Hold'em mm. or 16 Garages or whatever it was called. Now, moving on to Sexy Red. Sexy Red Drop. We did both of them songs. 16 um, Carriages and uh, Texas Hold'em. Yeah, we did both of them songs. And I think um, at first it was kind of, but after you hear them a little time, it grows on you a little bit. Yeah, they do. Yeah, especially Texas Hold'em. Yeah. They popped yeah. a new single called Get It Sexy. And I'm starting to notice that Sexy Red is the Soldier Boy of this generation. She reminds me more and more of Soldier Boy. And I think that they make similar music. So let me know how y'all feel about it. The song. I think right now, right now, man, Sexy not missing. You know what I'm saying? Everything yeah. she's been on been a little vibe, especially yeah. that Nardo Wick and her, yeah, Nardo Wick especially and her. the Drake. Like, even, about you, my, my, my daughter <laughs> be singing that stuff. Like, you know what I'm saying? All the kids were singing that. The little bops. She can't yeah. miss. Yeah, she putting out some hits. Song is okay to me, but it reminds me of a Soldier Boy Tell Em type of record. Maybe she sampled him. <laughs> Maybe but, she sampled um, him. She definitely <laughs> reminds me of like a male version of Soldier Boy. Not talented, but she makes club or dance bangers. Yeah. That's what it reminds me of. Now, Paola Boy. When she put it like that, then I could definitely understand because she does make club type yeah. bangers that you yeah. can vibe out to. Um, yeah, or it's just, like, that's a good way she put it. It's vibe out club music when you think about it. For real. Turn Word. up. Turn up. Put music. out <laughs> their review for Nicki Minaj's Press on Nails. They said um, the nails I mean, the applied properly. Won't fall off easily. Riley, who actually wrote this article for Pale the Board, said that Pale she got board. them caught in her jacket and hair and even banged her hand on her desk and the nails remained chip free. Friends also couldn't stop complimenting her on how trending the designs were. 
And she loved how shocked their faces were when she revealed that they were press-ons. So wow. Nikki is getting pretty decent reviews for her press-on nails. So let me know if you guys bought them or are interested in getting the press-on nails. No. Snicky know how to get a bag. You feel yeah, what I'm saying? Like something up. <laughs> Nikki know how to get a bag. Uh, Botched and Bitter also mentioned why she never put out the Ice Spice Munch remix that she was initially mm. on. Okay? Even though I heard Ice Spice scrap the record. But she's saying that she didn't want to put it out. I remember that you, Central C, and Ice Spice did a Munch remix. But I never heard it. Did that... Really get recorded? I don't know about Central C, but I I did um I did do like a, a thing for. I like Central C. Yeah. That would have been a good song with all three of them. I think um you know Central C kills everything right now. Yeah, he's right on now, fire he's right on fire. now. Yeah. Ice Spice, but I just did not like how it sound. I no, I love the record. Oh. I did not like how it sound. You know, being on a on a on a Joe beat, it's not as easy. as easy as it looks. They're gonna right. drag me and they're gonna drag the song. Bad. I just felt like it was not giving. I'm like, I don't want. I don't even want to do this. Like, like I don't even want to do this to this girl. Like, the record's already great. I don't want to fuck it up. Like, I did. I just. I just hated my verse. I hated yeah, yeah, my yeah. verse. It'd be like now if you don't remember. I understand that. That's what I'm saying. If you don't like your verse. That. Um, you don't want to put it out. And she said, Yo, I didn't. Not to hurt it. I think I. I wasn't. It's like what we say all the Trying time. Trying to do a disservice. Yeah, because we say if you a feature, you either could help the song, help the song or you heard the, the song. song. She obviously felt like I wasn't helping the song, so I just rather not get on it. But even if Central Street would have gotten it, I'm surprised. I wonder if Central Street didn't get on it. Uh, me too. I was wondering. Because it never came out, so I don't know. That's a good question. For the Munch remix, um, it was posted, I believe, on social media somehow. I believe Cardi B posted it. And this is the verse that she's talking about. Met me, I never met you. Drink my bath water, I'm special. If you tell somebody we fuck, but I ain't nothing, that nigga, you capping. Niggas are munch, get it for breakfast. Bitch is scums, bitch is desperate. Bitch be dirty, go get tested. Way too easy, don't wanna catch it. Ah! He telling all of his niggas, I said we could chill. Like what? He wants to see what it is like a gender reveal. Like, uh huh? Huh? Pissing on bitches is really a skill. Like what? Bitches is dead to me, damn they dead to me. Well, what you. <laughs> Who's decent? It was decent. <laughs> oh my goodness. I can see why she didn't put that out. That was terrible. <laughs> Yo, she's crazy. <laughs> she said that was terrible. Oh my goodness. At least she can admit when her raps are trash. She should admit it more. <laughs> Half her catalog sounds like that. <laughs> okay. Mm. Um, but with that being said... Criminal B is not a professional rapper. So that's why she can't do certain beats. Because at the end of the day, you know, she can't always catch the beat. She can't rap really fast and articulate her words properly. Okay? But a lot of rappers are like that. They sound better on, on different uh, beats. They sound better on certain beats. Like, yeah. that's why Lil Baby for a, a long time had the same... He had them... Sound like the same beat for like the last two, three years. You feel what I'm saying? Because he know he sound better on those type of beats. Yeah, just the tempos and whatnot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, she has problems with enunciation, um, even though English is supposed to be her first language. <laughs> Yo, so, you know, let me know how y'all feel about that. Also, fans felt like she was shading Megan the Stallion because she said she would never send an N-word to jail. You know what I'm saying? I... I push the buttons. <laughs> All the buttons. Oh my God. Boop, 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 boop. And she don't she don't want to get you you be in the jail, then she come visit you. You got your mom right now? You ready to come home? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I wanna I wanna I wanna. You ready to come home? She... Okay, y'all heard that? She says she... I know a lot of females that feel like that. That they'll never put their dude in jail or somebody they rocking with or somebody that they was Right. <laughs> I know a lot of females. she's not only female that feel like that. I think they, they should feel, there's something wrong. Nah, I think they should be feeling like that. We rocked out, da, 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 had a mistress happen. That's like, yo, if you rocking with a female and it's just a, a bad night, you want to try to get her locked up? Like, it's crazy. It's crazy. She would never put an N-word in jail. A lot of people felt like that was shade towards Megan Thee Stallion. Um, let me know how y'all feel about it. Moving on from that, all three of Scratch Off fans are very upset with Flo Millie. Scratch. See, Flo Millie teased... Oh, a scratch off collaboration on her album, which I didn't listen to, called Fine Home Stay. 
Um, the track list was revealed during her tour, and Scratch Off was on the track list, okay. but allegedly she's not on the album. Fans are also saying that the Never Lose Me success must have changed um, you know, how, you know, RCA the colorist wanted to roll out the album and he took some tracks off. Mm-hmm. But how does Scratch Off get removed from an album? Ain't you and Flo on the same label? They both under RCA the colorist. Mm-hmm. But that's how you know RCA the colorist really not messing with Scratch Off like that. Plus, she really wasn't gonna help the album anyway. Imagine having Scratch Off and Criminal B on your album. Who's Scratch Off? I'm trying to I don't think she's talking about Lotto. I think she, no, she's talking about a Lotto album, but she's talking about somebody who scratched off a Lotto's album. Uh, that's why I was trying to figure out who Scratch Off was. <laughs> Can you leave that in the comments? Yeah. That's a disaster. That's a recipe for flopping, okay? Mm. Um, and she's already <laughs> suffering from the Cardi B curls because the Never Lose Me remix did flop. No shade. Mm. Not only that, though, um, it seems as though... Um, Rolling Loud is taking aim at Scratch Off during Nicki Minaj's set. For life. For life. Hmm. What about you? Fuck you, Lotto. <laughs> Damn. Why did he about? say that to Scratch Off? Maybe, you know, Lotto. she declined yeah. to perform. Lotto. That's what I was saying. That's what I was saying. Like, I was like. Yeah, <laughs> this girl like, was crazy. <laughs> yeah. This, yo. She's witty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Form, something is going on. But either way, go against Nikki and mm-hmm. it's going to cost you. Mm-hmm. But anyway, I got some hot, hot tea on Patreon. Link will be in the description. And I hope you guys have a great day. It's Trey TV. Let's get it. This is Lamar Wilson here representing Ghetto Action News Network underscore all lower cases. No spaces. You find us on Facebook. And when you do, follow the page, like the page, share the page, you come back. All right, I'm gonna get right into this. Mm-hmm. Man, she covered a lot of tea today. Yeah. Ash wasn't playing. It's a lot of tea. Man, she went from, who was it, Cardi, Doja? She was talking about a little Beyonce. Just, leaving, talking about the shorties getting into what they do. To, <laughs> like, she, tea was sipping. Yeah. Tea was sipping. Again, a great conversation piece. She's very opinionated, but it's always fun. Uh, I thought it was a great watch. What you think? It was a dope watch. Definitely like um how when she do her stuff, she come receipts. Um, she show you the numbers. Now when she show you numbers, she put some entertainment um value on there, give you her opinion on how she feel. Um, definitely was a nice video to check out. Um, she do real good with these videos. Um, mm-hmm. the more and more I do her videos, um, the more and more um I like them. Can't wait to do more videos from her. But until then, it's your boy Trey TV, and I'm out.